Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to work with the tree node. So don't leave and learn Mavix with me. So today I'm going to show you a very simple way to work with the tree node widgets. First, we are going just to retrieve all the data that we have in a few entities and then later we are going to do something more complex where we can do something very similar to the functionality of the data view that is listened to but in this case we need to do it manually but first so before we start retrieving all the data i'm going to show you the domain model of the application so let's go to the domain model as you can see currently we only have two entities one it's the continent and then we have country associated with that continent and for now we are going to just to work with these two entities, but later we are going to create one more. So to start, we are going to the home page. And here we are going to the toolbox and select the three node widget. And drag and drop to the page. And then double click on it to access all the properties. And here we need to select a data source. In my case, I'm going to select through that database, but you have multiple options. So database, microflow, nanoflow, or by association. In this case, I'm going to keep as database. Entity, I'm going to select continent. And I'm going to click OK. As you can see, we can choose different types of headers. So we can just write a simple text by selecting just a simple text or an attribute of the entity, or we can do something uh, custom for example, adding uh, a widget to the header. But for now, we are going to just keep it the text, but then later we are going to use this option. So header caption, we can just click to edit. And here we can write early brackets, one to insert a, a parameter, clicking new. In my case, I'm going to select the only attribute that I have on the continent entity, so name. Click OK and OK again. The next option is to select if this tree node will have child or not. So in our case, we are going to have different levels. So the first one, it's, it's going to be the continent. And then the second, it's the country. So yes, we are going to have a child. So keep this option as a yes. We can also select if the tree node will start expanded or not. For now, we can just leave it as a no, and also if it's animated or not. So this option just add a small animation between the expand and collapse functionalities. So for now, we can keep as a yes, see how it works. We also have a visualization tab, so click on it. And here we can personalize the icon of the three nodes. So here we can start by choosing if the icon will be shown on the left on the right side or will not appear. So you can select as a no. So let's keep as a left. Now we can select an icon from the expanded. So here we, we can select, for example, the minus icon or subtract. So when it's so when the tree node is expanded, we want to show the minus sign. So to show to the user that it's possible to collapse. And for the collapsed icon, we can show the plus or add icon to show them that they can expand. The next option, it's very similar to the animate option of the general tab. So here you can select yes or no. Now click yes. As you can see, the header now have the parameter that we selected and below we have space to insert some widgets here. So this space, it's enabled because we select yes for the option has children. So let's drag and drop a new tree node for this space. And now we can configure it the second level of the tree node. So as a data source, you can select for example, association, click in select. Now you can select country, so by association. 
click OK. Header type we are going to keep as a text. Just insert the parameter. Click New. Select Name. Click OK. OK again. As children. This time we are going to choose No. And animated we can also select No. Visualization. Go icon. We are going to keep as it is because for this three node we are not going to expand and collapse. So it's OK. And as you can see, for these three nodes, we don't have any option to add a widget to it. So for now, we can just run the server, but later we are going to make it more complex. So as you can see, now we have data here. But before I expand these three nodes, I'm going just to show you that already I already have some master data here. So for the continent and the country, I already configured some uh, countries and continents. So let's go back to the main page. And here, as you can see, if I click on the Europe, it's going to expand. And here we can see Portugal and Spain. So the countries. So if we do the same for the Asia, it's going to show India and China. We can also click to collapse. So it work as it should. Now let's create something more complex. Let's go back to the studio, create one more entity. So click, so go to the main model, click to create a new entity. And here we are going to insert a name as active object. We don't need to create any attributes. Just go to access rules, new, select user, give permissions to create and to delete and click OK. Now you can just create a new association between continent and active object. Double click on this association and change the type to one to one and click OK. Now go back to active object as access rules and give just permission to this new association. Read and write, click OK, OK again. Save and go back to the home page. And now here we can drag and drop a data view outside the layout grid. Just drag and drop the layout grid to inside the data view. Double click on the data view. And now we can create a new NanoFlow. Select new. So in our case, we need to create a new one. So let's give a name DS. From data source, active object, and create. Click OK. Click to show. Start by giving permissions to this nano flow. Allow the rules, select user. And now go to the toolbox, create object. Go click entity. Select active object and click OK. Now right click on it and set as a return value. Now go back to the page. And here we are going to right click on the layout grid, add a new column to the right. Now the goal is to click on a continent and then all the information about that continent is going to be displayed on the right side. So to do that, we are going to double click on the three nodes. Header type, we are going to set as a custom. And as you can see, now we have another option. So open nodes when the header is clicked or when the icon is clicked. So we, we can just keep as a header. So click OK. And now instead have the parameter name here, we have another space insert some widgets. We can drag and drop a text. Click OK. Do the same as before. So as a parameter with the, the name of the continent. Like name. Click OK. OK again. 
and OK. You can just right click and click to wrap in container. And now go to the toolbox, search for the microflow button and just drag and drop to the page. Now we need to create a new one. So click in new. Here you, you need to select both parameters and you can insert the name as ACT continent active object. Click OK. Double click on the button. We can remove the caption. Render mode, we can change it to link. And as an icon, we can just search for pencil. And for example, select this one. Now click to show the microflow. Like we did for the nanoflow, let's give first all the access to it. So select users. And now all we have to do is drag and drop a change object. Double click, we'll select here as object the active object. Click in new, select the association, and you can fill this association with the continent object. So right continent, click OK, OK again, and don't forget to select the refresh in client. Go back to the home page, and now on the right side, we are going just to write, for example, continent. Click OK. So now we can use, for example, this tab that is the connector, or you can just drag and drop text or a text box. But in this case, just to, to do something different, we can use this area. So click in this empty space, go to continent and drag and drop the name attribute. So it's all done. You can just save all the changes and click to run the project. So click to view app. You can log in as the MX admin, click to sign in. And now, as you can see, we have a different area on the right side. So if everything went well, when we click on the pencil icon, it should show the name of the continent right here. So we can expand. So we only did this for the continent, but we can but you can do the same for the countries or other entity that you have on the domain model. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye.